Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. This is a French flywheel. I've re-drilled for a 10 inch clutch. What I want to do today is to take one of these flywheels like this and lighten it a bit. I'm going to take out as much as I can from here um, which is approximately half an inch and I'm going to bring it back here so I'm going to take that chunk out there on the back hang on this is quite heavy this is a machine surface I'm going to bevel it away and then flatten it off and this is quite thick here it's probably about an inch thick Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I've actually already done it. This is a identical flywheel. And as you can see, I've taken off this rim here. And I've beveled away the back. And I've just measured it and it's 0.6 of an inch thick here. So that's not too bad. It's not like I've gone, you know, to nothing. I didn't f film it in its entirety because, to be honest, I was unsure about what I was doing. I just wanted to get on and get it done. But I have some footage. I, I started filming towards the end of this cut here. Um, so I'll show you a little clip of that, speed it up, and I'll insert it here. Okay, so you've got an idea. Now, what's happened was, when I started um, machining, I trued it up on the face and then started machining, but I found that the machining was too heavy and it kept knocking it out of true. So what I did in the end was to just clamp it as tight as I can to the face where it touches in other words, inside there, you know, with the end part of the jaws, and hold it on tight with that. So I had to just trust that that was as true as I could get it. But now that I've got the basic shape, what I think I will do, well, what I will try and do, is um, slacken it very slightly. Knock it so that this face runs true and then just take very light skim cut so I don't knock it off true and just take another few thou off just so it's as true as I can get it and I'll, um, I'll do that on both sides. So I, I probably won't machine that because it's tricky. You don't need to see me doing that, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'll bring you back at the end. And what I'll do at the end, I suppose, what I can do is put this on some scales and put that one on some scales and just get a, a reading between the two and see, uh, see what the difference is. Just a little bit of messing about with the lathe. Just a bit of shop dickery with the lathe something that I was thinking of doing and what I want to try and do is balance it as well I mean <laughs> you know it might be difficult so I think I'm gonna to have to drill here on this on this bolt circle like the 11 inch clutches are drilled here on this bolt circle you can see somewhere hang on somewhere yeah there's the remnants of a there's the remnants of the balancing holes there look yeah no, I should have cleaned it a bit more but anyway that's what it is 
that's the old balancing holes which were in between these ones here so I've got room here to put balancing drillings if need be okay righto um, I'll bring you back then when there's more to show back in a bit bye You know, I don't want to risk taking too much off and ending up with it, um, you know, a tendency for it to uh, crack. But that's 0.6 of an inch there. And I've done it in one cut, so that's good. Okay, righto. I will clean it up and have a go at balancing it. No, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to skim the other side. I think the other side's okay. That's enough for now. I'll bring you back when there's more to show. Um, I don't know if you can see the drilled hole there. I just drilled one hole fairly deep. Uh, it, it did accelerate quite fast down to the bottom and I just drilled that one hole and that I, I drilled it and then it accelerated very slowly and ended up at the bottom so I drilled it a tiny bit deeper and now basically it doesn't matter where you put it as long as you don't turn it when you let go of it it stays still If it hasn't stopped, it, if it hasn't started accelerating in sort of three or four seconds, it's, I'd say it's okay. I'm not an expert, I've kind of just come up with this method myself. But lifting this flywheel on and off from the um, lathe, you can tell it is lighter than the standard flywheel. I'll go and get, I've got some old kitchen scales somewhere, I'll go and get them, see if we can weigh them. Um, this block of wood is on there, but I've zeroed them after I've put the block of wood on. Okay. Now these are English scales, so these are in stone. So the one is one stone, which is 14 pounds. Two is twenty eight pounds. I've got a pair somewhere that are in pounds, but I can't find them. So let's weigh the standard one. Okay. It is. 28 pounds plus 6 pounds which is uh, 34 pounds you have to add on a couple of bearings as well but I don't think that'd make much difference no Whoa.
Right. 28 pounds less 2 pounds that's uh, 26 pounds so it's um, 6 pounds lighter just out of interest I've got one that was lightened by somebody else which I know will be lighter than this so I'll go and find that so this is 26 pounds down from 34 the ring gear is off this one that's 14 plus 6 that's 20, uh, 20 pounds so that's another 6 pounds lighter than mine so just out of interest let's um, put these side by side and have a look at them okay yeah that's interesting first thing is this is only for a nine inch clutch so it's been so there's a big band around the end there that's been taken out the other thing is this area here has been scalloped out this area here is intact hang on I need two hands oh yeah I can feel that with my fingers it's it's really thin I don't know if this area here has been machined back if it has not by much bear in mind you've got the bolts there the nine inch bolts are there where my thumb is this is deeper than mine and the angle is sharper so there's more metal out and here they've come at more of a well they've done it similar to be honest can you see that the French flywheel has these um, drillings it's got drillings to if there's any oil in that area on the other side it can come out there so that's interesting isn't it yeah this is a very light flywheel mine's light but um, not mega light I'd be a bit nervous about machining one that much although you would have to say well using this as a pattern might not be a bad idea but I'm not prepared to take that much out um, the this is broken and the ring gear was half off it, it all broken around here where the ring gear is retained so I ended up never using this the the guy that uh, I bought the sedan from kind of threw this in with some you know some flathead parts but it's um I think it's scrap basically but I'd, I'd say that one there's okay well that'll be interesting to see if it if um if and when I fit this to a engine you know if you can feel a tangible difference be interesting okay well there's a nice little bit of dicking around in the shop bit of time spent on the lathe and uh, six pounds of uh, metal removed um, quite a lot of it from the outer radius okay thanks very much for joining me in the garage as all the youtubers say Please, you know, click like and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps the algorithms, helps the channel. So thanks very much. Take care and 
one of the things that I was thinking was, you, you know what I'm up to, you know, I've got the sedan and the 33 and the Thunderbird, and I've got my truck outside and my roadster. Um, well, what are you working on? Tell me what you're working on. Drop a, you know, just drop a comment in. Let me know what you're working on and how it's going. And uh, share your little successes and wins. Your little, your little wins. Okay. Thanks very much then. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers then. Bye.